Democrats are up in arms over Speaker McCarthy handing over more than 40,000 hours of video footage of the January 6th riot to Fox News' Tucker Carlson. Now, prior to the public announcement of doing so, Carlson's TV producers were on Capitol Hill a week prior digging through the trove, which reportedly includes multiple camera angles from all over the Capitol grounds. Excerpts of the footage will begin airing on, across all of Tucker's shows, including Tucker Carlson Today, Tucker Carlson Originals, on the streaming service Fox Nation. Tucker reportedly told Axios News that, the quote, that, quote, there was never any legitimate reason for this footage to remain secret. I'm sure the Democrats are losing their minds because what actually happened on January 6th will be revealed on the footage, by definition anyway. For the record, the now defunct January 6th committee played countless excerpts of footage at last year's barely watched hearings. According to sources, the process with Tucker started in early February. Now, McCarthy publicly said last month that he thinks the American public should actually see all that happened instead of a report that's written on a political bias. But some feel that McCarthy still didn't make good on his word of releasing all of the footage, and they'd be right. The argument in question is, if he truly wanted to release the footage to the public, he would have, period, not handed over to a liberal news network owned by Rupert Murdoch, who actively hates Donald Trump, which he has made crystal clear by not having Trump on Fox News regarding his candidacy for 2024. Yet everyone else running, inclusive of the, inclusive of the no-name Vivek, or however the hell you say his name, has been on there. Reportedly, a source with deep contacts inside Fox News said, Fox News Digital will write about Trump and give him little phone interviews, but he has not been on the actual channel since he announced. Rupert doesn't want him to win. Now, independent journalist Laura Loomer recently spoke to that and more on The Stu Peters Show. Watch. We already see from the Dominion lawsuits that are coming out, Stu, that Fox News uh, was talking internally about how they don't like Donald Trump and how they don't think the election was stolen. Well, do you think that they're really going to have sympathy or try to help these J6ers by, you know, releasing some of the footage when they know that the reason why people went to the Capitol on J6 was because the election was stolen? When really right now, right, it's going to be in Fox News's worst interest to tell the truth about J6 because think about it. They're embroiled in a defamation lawsuit right now with Dominion. They are. And so if they provide footage that confirms, right, the grievances of the people that were protesting on J6 and all of the people that, you know, clearly spoke out uh, truthfully about the stolen election, well, then, you know, that's that's not going to really, uh, you know, be so good for their lawsuit, right? So Fox News doesn't really have an interest in releasing the truth about this. Additionally, the New York Post, Murdoch's leading American tabloid, has been notably positive in its coverage of Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, who is clearly part of the establishment, in case you didn't notice. However, liberal media has a different spin on Fox News, and what Tucker may do with the footage or persuade the viewer to see on the footage and are calling it a security threat. Watch. There is a security issue here. Um, uh, the, the, the idea that this is not public footage. This is stuff that is has not been released publicly. It's now been given over to uh, to Tucker Carlson. Irrespective of what you think about Tucker Carlson's coverage, what's the security risk here, Frank? Yeah, so what we're hearing, and in fact, NBC reported earlier today through Ali Vitale, is that there are legit security issues that could be exposed here. For example, what Ali Vitale cited was a concern that the, the reason we've only seen Nancy Pelosi first uh, removed from the floor and then next see her in a room secured and safe is because we that we were not supposed to see the, the movement from the floor to the room because it would expose the safe room and the, the route that Capitol Police have established to take someone safely away and put them in, in, in a safe place. Those are the kinds of security concerns that could be exposed here if it's uh, handled irresponsibly and Fox News Tucker Carlson have a track record of not handling such things in an honest, good faith effort. The other concern, of course, obviously, is the security concerns that arise from false conspiracy theories. We know they are dangerous. We know they lead to violence. And so if, for example, this host on, on Fox decides to play only things that indicate uh, or allow him to blow up conspiracy theories. Oh, look, that looks like a Fed. Oh, look, it looks like someone instigated this. Oh, look, there's an hour of people doing nothing peacefully. Um, if that keeps 
going forward, and it's ginned up into the notion that all the prosecutions are witch hunts against people uh, for, who were violent January 6th, that it could really pose a danger and a threat. Here's Laura Loomer again with a different take on the matter. If, if Kevin McCarthy is telling fellow members of Congress that it's a national security threat to release the footage, then why should we believe that Kevin McCarthy hasn't directed Tucker as to what specific snippets he can make available or excerpts and what narrative to put behind it? Well, it sounds like that's already in the works. Um, I received a text message tonight from the lawyer that I'm working with, John Pierce, who's actually, you know, representing a lot of these J6 defendants. He represents the most J6 uh, defendants in the entire uh, country. And, you know, he, he told me, I'll just read the message to you now. It's so funny. He tweeted this, too. He was like, oh, um, you know, isn't this funny? They're on Tucker right now talking about how they're going to go through the footage. And then he tweeted, oh, good. So Tucker Carlson's producers have one week to review 42,000 hours of January 6th footage, and then we get to see their results next week. How lucky are we? What a huge help. Speaker McCarthy is a serial liar who could care less about these sick Americans. Yeah, how lucky are we, right, that we, you know, are so stupid and incapable of looking at footage ourselves that we have to rely on Tucker Carlson, SEMA producers to go through 42,000 hours of footage and then tell us what is important. Hmm. I guess, uh, you know, even though Tucker Carlson works for Fox News, you know, a uh, board member of Fox News, Paul Ryan, and owner of Fox News, Rupert Murdoch, who is clearly anti-Trump and has said they're going to do everything in their power to make sure that Donald Trump doesn't win re-election and get behind, and they're going to get behind Ron DeSantis. Surely those people are going to make sure that we see the facts, right? Uh, the I mean, Vanguard, BlackRock, yeah. Pfizer, owned Fox News channel. I mean, clearly these people betrayed the country right after the 2020 election. Then, of course, there's pencil neck Adam Schiff, who's reportedly furious that Speaker McCarthy gave the footage to Tucker Carlson and called him a right wing propagandist. Touche, Schiff, you left wing propagandist with all of your Russia, Russia, Russia lies. Look who's calling the kettle black, you asshat. These people are like mental. Schiff? Had to, of course, go write out his feelings, sans crayons, of course, on Twitter. He said, quote, Kevin McCarthy turned over January 6th videos to right-wing propagandist Tucker Carlson, a man who spews Kremlin talking points, suggests January 6th was a false flag, and spreads the big lie. Make no mistake. This isn't about transparency. It's about fueling dangerous conspiracy theories. I think these libtards have the normal folks out there confused with their mental status because we, unlike them, can see something with our own eyes and make, you know, and then like come to our own conclusions. We don't need uh, lib, like the left wing media telling us uh, what we're seeing and what it means. Um, but that's how the libtards work. Didn't stop there with shitty Schiff either. Count Dracula's cousin, Chuck Schumer, had to put his two cents in saying, give the footage to Tucker. Giving the footage to Tucker creates grave security risks. He was so miffed, he said to himself on Wednesday, I'm going to write a dear colleague letter. And write a letter he did, containing statements like this one. Public knowledge of the placement of security cameras could constitute one of the, quote, worst security risks since 9-11. Oh, my goodness. Giving someone as disingenuous as Tucker Carlson exclusive access to this type of sensitive information is a grave mistake by Speaker McCarthy that will only embolden supporters of the big lie and weaken faith in our democracy. And, of course, Chucky can never speak, or in this case, write, without using this next term. Let me be clear. The Senate strongly objects to the release of the sensitive security footage to Tucker Carlson and Fox News. The Speaker, nor any elected official, does not have the right to jeopardize the safety of senators, nor Senate and Capitol staff for their own political purposes, period. The latest response from Speaker McCarthy to all of this hubbub was given to the New York Times on Wednesday, where he said, quote, I promised, I was asked in the press about these tapes, and I said they do belong to the American public, I think sunshine lets everybody make their own judgment. Tucker said of the J6 footage, we believe that access is unfettered. We believe we have secured the right to see whatever we want to see. We're going to spend the rest of the week taking a look at it, assessing it as honestly as we can, and we're going to bring you what we find next week. Now this footage is expected to air on Carlson's show in the coming weeks. However, Breaking just yesterday, investigative journalist Laura Loomer, who is working closely with the J6 defendants, dropped a bombshell. 
and tweeted, quote, We've now learned Tucker Carlson never received 41,000 hours of J6 footage, as was claimed by Representative MTG. That was a lie. Sources I am working with received confirmation directly from the DOJ PH today that Tucker was never given any footage. He can only watch it on one terminal. Loomer also called out Marjorie Taylor Greene tweeting, Representative MTG, why did you lie to the American people and falsely state that Speaker McCarthy gave Tucker Carlson all of the January 6th footage? He didn't give him anything. Tucker's team is simply watching it on a terminal in the Capitol. No footage was ever released to the public. You lied. The National File tweeted tagging Axios News saying, but Axios reporter Mike Allen tells National File that the, the deal was such that there would be only one terminal made available to Carlson's team. Allen further relayed to the file that USCP would have full access to monitor exactly what Tucker's team looked at. What the? <laughs> what the fuck? It's like, here we've got some rare jewels to give you, but she got to dig through about two billion pounds of fine granulated sand to find them. And oh, and P.S. By the way, you only get one guy in a shovel.